Now, correlation and covariance is a really important part of the standard deviation of a two-asset portfolio. Whoa! That's pretty scary looking, isn't it? It's one of the meanest looking formulas you'll see. And yet, it really is not all that bad. Okay? We need to know the formula. And we simply need to know which information to plug into the formula. But more importantly than that, it's crucial that you understand the concepts and the implications of diversification. Let's make sure we understand all the variables. W stands for weight. It is the percentage of our wealth that's invested in each asset. So, W sub J is the percentage of our wealth invested in asset J. W sub I is the percentage of our wealth invested in asset I. Well, for a two-asset portfolio, which is what we have here, then that means all of our wealth is invested in, in those two assets. So, W I and W J is going to represent 100% of our wealth. Sigma I. Sigma stands for standard deviation, doesn't it? So Sigma I is the standard deviation of asset I. Sigma J is the standard deviation of asset J. There's covariance. There's our friend. We just got through talking about covariance. Covariance is equal to the correlation between the two assets times the standard deviation of each asset. So really, our formula can be rewritten as follows. That the standard deviation of a two-asset portfolio equals the weight in the first asset, the weight in asset I squared, times the standard deviation squared, plus the weight in asset J squared times its standard deviation squared, plus 2 times the weight in I times the weight in J times the correlation between the two assets times their standard deviations. Let's use this formula and solve for the standard deviation of this two asset portfolio that consists of assets A and asset B. Okay, So our formula again is W A squared, sigma A squared, plus W B squared, sigma B squared, plus 2 times W A times W B, sigma A, sigma B, correlation between A and B. Okay. Notice that I'm using a lowercase r to represent the correlation. And then I simply take the square root of that amount. Okay? This is really a plug and chug, isn't it? The weight in asset A is 0.2, so I'm going to say 0.2 squared. The standard deviation is 18, so I'll just use whole numbers here, 18. Plus the weight in asset B is 0.8 squared, times its standard deviation, which is 12% squared plus 2 times the weight in A times the weight in asset B times the standard deviation of A times the standard deviation of B times the correlation. Notice it tells us the correlation between these assets is 0.33. And I take the square root. This is going to give me 12.96 plus 92.16 plus 22.8096 or the square root of 127.93 which is 11.31%. Wow, isn't that great? Do you notice something? Do you notice that the standard deviation of our portfolio of 11.31% is lower than the standard deviation of either of the two assets held in isolation? 
What a great example of diversification. We've been able to take two risky assets, combine them together, and reduce risk.